Yes, now what we do is let's continue with this and uh, let's see how to build a form. So at the end of the day, uh, forms are the most important aspect of HTML, right? You do building form, saving data and then uploading it to a database or something, right? Whether it is Spring or something, right? Basically, JavaScript is used. JavaScript is the underlying framework on which React, JS, Angular is also built. I have built a separate video on both of that. In one bundle, you can learn. So that are the most more popular JavaScript framework, but the core framework remains JavaScript. So JavaScript is also used to create forms. So let us see how for a form. Forms are used to co collect information from user inputs, like from end user, like name, phone number, credit card information, you want to enter some information, account information, order information. HTML forms are basically the front end using web pages to collect and submit the data. Okay, so basically you will have a form tag like this. Within that you will have the label and then inputs. Whether it's a text, you type password, type submit. When you say type submit, what will happen is it will create a button. So you use form tags to create a form. The input tags are used to get to in get the input from the user. There are various data types, password, text, radio, file, select, submit. The label will show the label, input type text. And you can also give it an ID. If you give it an ID property to an input, what will happen is uh, JavaScript can identify the get element by ID. Okay, so you can navigate to that element, read that element, change that element, get a value of that element. Again, an ID of the input tag can also be used to identify it uniquely within the DOM of HTML. Now let's look at the radio type tag. Now if you take type radio, so this is like multiple selections can be done. Like say, what is the gender, male, female, and what is the label for each. If you want a checkbox, you can type checkbox, post, I will give it a sorter label. Then if you want to upload a file, basically it will be input type, name upload. You can select the file, object will be selectable. So you can select the file. And then option label is like, suppose you want to show multiple options, you have this option tag. So within that, you will have to build the option values and then you have to embed it within a select tag. So when you submit a form, so let's build the form first and then we will try to submit. So I'm going to create a new form. I say form the rest of The same way I create a basic uh, structure here. And then I'll say form. Let's understand this form here. Yeah? So first one has got a label called name, username and admin. User has to enter the password, the label password and input type password. Okay. So very simple form. It contains two labels and two inputs, type and password and submit. So let's save this. So you can see it has built, built a basic form with the submit button. But basically nothing is happening. Let's build a basic form. Nothing is happening. Alright, so now let's make add some stuff to this. Let's say ID equal to and we'll say ID equal to password. Okay, so this form is and when it submits, we'll have to create a method. We will be working, we will be studying JavaScript after this in detail. Okay. We we'll say data save. So we have to say on submit the method. Alright, so when this clicks, what happens is this form on submit will also fire and this will go away here. So let us see all of this working. So if you see the data saved, but is what is happening is form dot reset is happening immediately. This is the data is getting saved over here. So so uh, what I, what we have to do is uh, to prevent that form from these uh, these uh, what you call submitting again and refreshing, we have to add something called as event dot prevent default. Otherwise, what will happen is if you see over here, if you don't add this, the form form is getting reset. So we, have, we that is the nature of HS. Let me show you this. So if you enter some value here. Right now it is showing it right so but 
to save it, then eventually what initially what is happening is whatever data that you enter, you are not you are showing it, but you are getting you see, see it for a split second in the console log is coming and going out. That is because uh, from a forms will refresh after a submit. So for that you have to add one event called event dot prevent default. This is the default event of event object of JavaScript. So that in that you have to do prevent. In that way what will happen is it will stop the form from refreshing after a submit. So let's take a look here. And look at this password field. If I enter any password, it is encrypted automatically. So submit here. So for that we have to save this. So now the data saved console part is visible. So if I enter something, the next step is to see how to get the values from this HTML. Okay, so you can say document get element by ID. If you see here, if you say document or get element by value, it will show you the value that is entered. So we will go into deep into HTML later. Let's continue the uh, deep into JavaScript later. Let's continue with the other tabs. So now let's look at the radio tab. What it is, what it is about. As a label, value pairing. So again, everywhere you know, just you, you're going to use the get element by ID. Right now we are not going to do that. Right now we'll just see the radio tags. If you see here, main field. Okay, so nicely done. So this is the radio button. Okay. So let's take. So here it is asking for a selection of names. Type checkbox. So again we have a label and another input label. All of this has to be bundled in the inside a select to get the correct value. For that. So once we do that, we have our string sorted. Okay. So we can have a I'm adding a label over here, so I'm going to also add a sports over here just to format it a bit. Okay, after that. Prop. Okay, so we have username, password, and it's not required. Okay, so next we look at the options one. Uh, let's keep it interesting a bit. So you can also do a file upload as well as an option table which is there within the select you have to give a selection. So let's add both together. So first is the input type file select. Okay, so here is the type of file. Save. So if you see here the file upload part is also done. So let's look at the file upload. So you say for just create a label and the type has to be of data type file upload. Okay, so you have to give it the type equal to file. So you create the file upload and this will upload it into the server. So there is a way to add or access it in the server. All this is served. When the file is uploaded, that is all part of the server side thing. Okay, so now let's look at this. If you see it opens the file table. So it will pick up a file for you. And here look at the options select. Right now there's nothing happening. See, but you can click submit, the submit is ready to select. So select. Then we say select, we do, we do select. First we say select name city and within that we give options. So first option is value is Sydney, Melbourne and Trombo. Now in this there is no interact or more, we just seeing the data, we are not picking up the data. That part we will see more in the JavaScript version. Alright, so pause the video here and see that you know you are able to see all these changes in your form. Please do your console log and we will be dealing with getting the data part in the uh, detailed JavaScript part of it. Okay. Right now, see that you are getting all these tags the checkbox, the options tag, the file tag. Okay. That is opening up the file 